All right, welcome back to the garage. And we have a little bit of a surprise to go over today. And there it is. 2024 Expedition SE. Let's take a look at it. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little video. My daughter shot that. She has a lot of fun doing it. So some of her stuff is still around here. That's what she does as a career. Uh, anyways, 2024 Expedition SE. Let's take a look at this puppy. I ordered a 2024 Expedition SE. I chose the green, um, the, the Terra green, I believe is what they called it. Terra green color. And... I chose the color before I even had a chance to look at it because, of course, there were no demo models in dealerships when it was released. And so the only the first time I actually got a look at it was yeah. these pictures here from the Skidoo um, demo touring show that they had. And they brought along an Expedition LE. Uh, and these photos that I got from the Expedition LE were my first glimpses, actually, real life of an Expedition. By then, I'd already ordered uh, this particular unit. Um, it's just the way it, way it works when there's, there's no, no product in the store that you can order from. And there's, there, there's just nothing. Like, you, you can't order it. You're ordering sight unseen. You're, you're really ordering it blind. You're ordering it off at a website. Um, there were a lot of, uh, there's a couple of vendors out there that were at the Skidoo launch that I was able to take a look at uh, what the models were. But I was primarily basing it on, on what I'd seen online um, from the prior year. And I, I, I have no regrets. I was a little, kind of when I first saw the green, it wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a little more uh, of a matte uh, color, not quite as gloss, and a little bit different online. The online color I actually liked. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, of course, I could always went black, and a lot of people will go black. But um, yeah, I, I like it. I, I, I really enjoy the color. It's, it's unique. And um, yeah, so that's, that's what it... Uh, what I was able to pick up. So let's take a look at the expedition. We're going to walk through um, exactly the items that I chose for, for my particular build. I'll turn it on here. I picked up the 7.2 gauge. So I think we can cycle through the modes. Info, settings, speed stats. I haven't figured out how to use this thing yet, but we'll, um, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure that out, I guess. But obviously you got your air shock right here. You got, I think that must be engine temp. You got time, it's not 310. There's your RPM, your fuel level. But uh, I'm gonna shut it off here. Anyways, so I went with the 7.2. I did not go with the 10 inch gauge or 10 and a quarter inch gauge um, specifically because if you want to use the GPS mapping on it, my understanding was that your cell phone has to be in reception. And there's a lot of places I go, I'm not in reception. I don't, I don't have reception where I'm, I'm going and playing. So um, because I'd be out of cell reception, 
I would need to rely 100% on a GPS, more like the Polaris Ride Command, which this doesn't have. Um, so that's why I didn't go with the 10 and a quarter. I did take a look at it. I went down to the dealership. I looked at a 2022 model uh, before I ordered this one, uh, or a 2023 model that had the 10 and a quarter gauge. I looked at it. It's nice. It's shiny. It looks really, really good. But ultimately, 7.2. I did not like the small tiny uh, four and a half inch gauge that come on the LE um, or that you can get without spring ordering the the unit. Otherwise, I would have been able to get one from Nickel City Motors. I could have got one in August of 22 um, if I wanted to. But uh, between the, the combination of the gauge and the 900 Ace non-turbo uh, motor was basically put me into the spring edition order. Um, of course, we have our gear box, our, our glove box here. I do have the glove box extension. I have not put it on yet. Um, I did pick that up actually on a Black Friday order. Of course, obviously the you know you got the handlebars or the rotating throttle, which uh, hopefully will be kind of nice. Um, your handlebars lower and rise. They got three positions on it. So that's nice. High, low gear case. Um, of course, being an SE model, you get the fancier stitching. Uh, looks looks very polished. You know, you got nice badging on it. Model comes with the 135 inch link. Massive cargo box. Carry everything you could ever want to carry in it. So there's a saw that goes in here. I'm not sure what, what length of saw it really is that fits in there. I'll have to find that out yet. I don't think any of mine are gonna fit in there. I added the heavy duty bumper here. You see the heavy duty bumper? I had them put the hitch in. I love those lights. Don't those lights look cool? <laughs> they just look so cool. <laughs> ah, got the, uh, put the hitch on here. Another overpriced little accessory, but you know what? At, at some point you just have to realize, okay, I'm either gonna do this all myself and play with it, which is nothing wrong. Nothing wrong if you wanna do that, or you're gonna pick it up all on. I just, I had it all picked up on and I uh, don't regret doing that. So, so we got the extra heavy duty hitch. We got the, uh, the actual hitch component that slides in there on the drawbar. I went with the one and a half inch ice cobra. So it has the, the, the picks on it, the little, little studs that you can see there to, uh, to grip ice. Um, heads up, makes a mess of your driveway. Of course, there's the articulating skid here. You can see it moving there and then you can lock it down if you're gonna be pulling it. I think, uh, I think my, uh, I think it's influenced by my little dolly there. I got them to put in the scratchers, the ice scratchers here. So, um, got the PRP ones in there. I need both hands, I think, probably to do that, or at least this hand. Get up underneath there. There we go. <coughs> got that back under there. Uh, what are the other items that I picked up on this. Um, ski skins, absolutely. So we got the ski skins on here, which uh, take, I think the seven point, I think it's the seven point, 7.4 pilot skis up to 10 inches wide. And that'll give me lots of flotation and snow when I go off trail. The bar, uh, to put the bar on here. I didn't go, I didn't like the ones that come off of here and around this piece. I kept that one off. I just went with this one here um, just to try to protect the, the front end of it a little bit. If I go crashing through some bush, um, probably not gonna do it right away. <laughs> be honest with you, I'm probably gonna baby it for a bit, but uh, eventually gonna go through. Um, 
in order to put these bars on, you have to buy the adventure plate, which goes here, which I think also it's the same thing you need to be able to mount the, the front draw bar and the winch if you're going to put the winch on it. Never went with a winch, um, even though this is probably too heavy to pull out yourself if you get stuck. I don't really want to mess with that. Skid plate under here. I don't know if you can see it under there. Went with the skid plate under the front end of it. So that'll help protect some of the A-arms. Uh, now, these spindles, I noticed this when I went to the, the dealer show. These things are really, really solid. They're very beefy, beefy. <sighs> um, let me think. 7.2, I got the mirrors. It's got the ultra high windshield all the way to the top. It's got the box. I think that's pretty much, I think those are the, the, the options that I added to it. Um, although actually there's one more I did pick up. Um, boom, here we go. I put the luggage rack on. I got the luggage rack. Um, gives it a totally different profile when you look at it from the side. I was using the two-up seat primarily to hold like um, a backpack or some luggage or something like that. And if I was heading out camping for the weekend, I'm not taking a second person on my two-up seat. So BRP sells this little secondary uh, cargo rack. Um, it's a pretty pricey piece of metal, as is everything that you buy. But uh, I like the look of it. I like that it was nice and flat. I know there's a number of people I think you can see. I think uh, a couple guys on YouTube have made really, really nice um, ones themselves uh, who have access to welders and they're handy with it. I'm not. So, you know, when you're, well, if you can't make it yourself, you're going to have to buy it from someone. So I ended up buying it from them. It fits in here. You, know, you can still get access to your battery compartment down here. Uh, bring it down. Just a note. And then lock it down. Uh, that way I can put anything I'm carrying here when I'm going back and it keeps a nice low profile too. Biggest reason I picked this up, reliability. Um, I was never, never 100% confident uh, in the Polaris, um, you know, being it, it, it is getting on, it's a 2005, we're in 2024, it's almost 20 years old. The uh, Super Jag over there is 30, 30 something years old. Um, it's a 1991. Uh, is that 30, 33 years old? Um, the engine's apart. <laughs> so I wanted something really reliable and uh, that, uh, that's why I ended up picking this up. So I'll just uh, wander through and take a few shots of the inside and take a little bit, and throw a little music over if you want to take a look at it. At least then you'll uh, get a idea if you're thinking of ordering a 25 yourself, you'll be able to take a look at this one.
Hope you enjoyed that look at a 2024 Expedition SE. I cannot wait to get out and go camping with this, uh, do some more adventures outside, because this is really no different than a car or whatever to get you outside. It's not any different than a canoe. I know a lot of you might argue, but it's no different than a canoe or a car that gets you to where you want to go. This is to get me out in the backcountry in the winter, farther, deeper, away from people, and home again. Uh, reliability, of course, is the big key. Um, picked this machine up on the 9th of November. I, it is the 15th of January, today when I'm recording this, and there's no snow. And of course, you buy a new snowmobile, and there's no snow, and that's just the way it goes. But I can't wait for more snow to get out and enjoy it. And I'm hoping to get away within a couple weeks, get out for my first time. And uh, I can't wait to get out. Oh yeah. Definitely a lot of fun sitting on this thing. I just can totally imagine what it's like wrapping around doing this. But I just noticed one thing, I'm hopping on this thing, I'm sitting here and I'm just kind of feeling it out. Haven't spent a whole much time. I've really resisted sitting on this thing in the garage. I have used an immense amount of self-control. But I did notice, sitting here, I know there's a couple layers of plastic and whatnot between it, but look how close you are to the belt. Wow. It's a good thing there's a good belt garden plastics between that because you would totally feel that. I think you'd lose your knee if that thing blew. <sighs> Anyways, yep. I am definitely looking forward to getting out and playing with this thing. <laughs>